Here's my response to Mr. Bowen's press club address on renewables. Conspiracy theory rabbit hole develops from climate change to anti-vaxxing to you know, foreign affairs quite easily. And as I said, there's too much of it allowed and perpetrated in Parliament House in my very strong view. And having climate denial and anti-vaxxing sentiment expressed regularly by a minority, but some Liberal Party serving members of Parliament in 2024 is not, in my view, OK without it being called out. So here we go again. Since when did government ministers assign themselves as the single source of truth? Oh, I know, when they mandated those experimental COVID vaccines. It's not, not a choice to get vaccinated. Since when did government ministers determine what we can and can't think or can and can't say? Just like the COVID vaccine debate, or rather lack of. If you are anti-mandate, you are absolutely anti-vax. I don't care what your personal vaccination status is. If you're not allowed to debate the science, it's propaganda. But if the science is that solid, put it to the test. I've met with passionate renewable energy advocates in the regions who've demanded more action faster, demanded to host more renewables. I've met with people who are happy to see renewables, but want to see better consultation and better community benefits. And of course, I've heard from some who oppose the renewable rollout altogether. It's far from a majority in any place I've visited, far from a majority, but it is a contested space. So that's why we're setting expectations for effective and responsible community engagement by transmission companies to improve the outcomes for communities at the centre of our clean energy transformation. Regional Australia will indeed be the epicentre of destruction, which the renewables only transition threatens. They depend on the productive and attractive land around them. Let's learn a lesson from Italy who recently passed a law to ban solar projects from being built on agricultural farmland. Also, for a wind farm to generate the same amount of power as coal-fired power station, it requires eight times more land and ten times more land than gas-fired power stations. That's not a productive use of Australian land if you ask me. Gas fire power is an important complement to renewables. Unlike coal and unlike nuclear, which are inflexible, gas is a virtue as it's flexible. As we're building the storage, as we're building the system, we're going to need gas in the system. Renewables can't produce consistent power, and worse, that power can't be stored effectively. A renewables only energy grid will be the biggest negative supply shock on energy, which we would be imposing on ourselves. Now Mr Bowen has confirmed that gas will be needed to support their renewables only grid. It's farcical, nonsense, madness. Because then, gas would be the only source of continuous baseload power. But we've banned new gas developments here in Victoria, so where will we get the gas from? And how much more will Australians have to pay as energy consumers and as taxpayers?